Welcome to your source for on-campus news. I'm Irene and here are some of the top stories since the beginning of the semester. I'm sure that you have heard by now that federal minimum wage was increased over the break. Students working on campus jobs have felt the impact of the, ra of the raise with a cutback in hours. Federal work study provides a set amount of funds that UT students can earn each semester and with the current pay raise, that students receive, this means less hours they can work each week before they hit the individual caps. Students have recently tried to start a UT football team by executing a petition in an attempt to create more school spirit. The petition has been doing exceedingly well and the support from students seems large. Why don't we have a team, you ask? As with many things, creating a football team on campus would cost a large amount of money, from equipping players, building another new field for them to use, and hiring more personnel to manage the team. With all the current development plans going on at UT, even if the football team was approved, we wouldn't expect to see any progression on it for several years. Coming up at UT on the 24th of February, the University of Tampa will host a medical marijuana debate in the Martinez Athletic Center. The debate will feature local attorney John Morgan and Alan St. Pierre, Executive Director of the National Organization for the Re Reform of Marijuana Laws, arguing for, against Eric Voth, Chairman of the Institute of Global Drug Policy and Devin Sabat, Director of the Drug Policy Institute, at the University of Florida. The debate is to help educate UT students as medical marijuana will be considered by Florida voters on the November 2014 ballot. This will be the second marijuana debate that UT has hosted in the recent years, and the event will be free to attend with limited seating. If you are interested in attending the debate, head to the Martinez Athletic Center February 24th at 7.30 p.m. And finally, we would like to welcome Her Campus to the University of Tampa's student organization family. Her Campus is an online magazine for college women and a group of UT students have joined to officially create a UT chapter. The UT chapter includes artists written about our campus college in general, of our very own campus celebrities, and even the campus cuties. Check them out at www.hercampus.com slash schools slash UT. That's all we have for today. Join me again next week for your latest campus news.